Boston! Yeah, I cut out the uh, frontier because it was just me opening up the map, clicking the speed to Boston, and then getting to Boston. So, whatever, you missed like 30 seconds. And I don't know how they lost me here. Yes, yes I did. Cool. Now, get out of here, you scam. Uh, another weapon we got in this uh, sequence was the trip mine, which you put it down and it blows up and kills enemies. I couldn't actually stealth it, so I just did it there. It was kind of a waste, but whatever. Let's just kill some more dudes and get that brawler challenge up. Um, I'm pretty sure if you complete these challenges, you get things. I don't, I'm not in entirely sure what they are, and they're probably not even good because I don't remember them. Ow. That kick to the face of the worst. Yeah. Oh, and I got a couple, uh, almanacs. For once. There were many I missed, but there's like two or three that I got while trying to get to this mission. Which is nice. So, let's just show those. Oh, and this wasn't, this one I think was sweet. Yeah, like, Ugh, no, it wasn't this one. Oh, right. I missed this one, and I'm just... I came across a fort, which, um... There are a certain amount for, uh... Each of the two city town things you go to. And they basically... You... You blow up their, uh... Um, their ammo. You kill a officer, and... Yeah. And then the fort turns from Templar to... I don't know... It just becomes liberated, which is a theme in this game, if you can't tell. And let's just discard the body. Cool, let's actually get on with this mission. Took me like 15 minutes to get here, off camera. But where the... F what am I doing? Oh, right. For this mission, I need to get down to Anonymous. And I was at one. One alertness, so yeah, let's get that out of the way. Hey, Sam. Ah, Connor. Hello again. What brings you to Boston? You. Would you excuse us, fellows? Thank you. That conversation was about to turn unpleasant. Now, what can I do for you? I was hoping you could help me locate William Johnson. Of course. I'm headed to a meeting with some men who should be able to help. Why don't you come along? Well, it's good to see the people finally taking a stand against injustice. Says the man who owns a slave. <laughs> Ooh, sorry? I practice what I preach, my friend. She's not a slave, but a freed woman. At least on paper. Men's minds are not so easily turned. It's a tragedy that for all our progress, still we cling to such barbarism. Then speak out against it. We must focus first on defending our rights. When this is done, we'll have the luxury of addressing these other matters. You speak as though your condition is equal to that of the slaves. It is not. No matter what you thieves call taxmen say, if the gums in Parliament who want to take my property, you tell them to sail across the pond and take it themselves! It's not open for discussion. Now open this door or these men will break it down! The bullets! We're coming in! I trust the mounting evidence is proof enough, Connor. Continue on. I shall meet you at our destination. Yeah, we get to fight some guys and using this rope. So when fighting uh, combat, when you use the rope, you just drag a person towards you, and then you can get a quick kill on them. But that's about it. And watch this sweetness. Yeah, on the ground and double kill. Nice. Justice for once. I dare the governor to send more. <clears throat> you all right? 
I'm fine. It's not my first dance. For all their teeth and claws, these little foxes, they fight like puppies. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. I'd buy you an ale, but uh, I'm expecting somewhere else. Alrighty, but we got... Now we gotta fi get all the way over there. Yeah, I don't know why I kept this in, because it's literally just a trek over. Oh, look! Elmanac! Yes! Just have to climb up before it runs away. Swear to God, if I miss this and I left it in, I'm gonna be pissed. Yes! Okay, all is worth it. Trying to pet this dog. No! Damn it, I can't pet the dog. But it looks like I could use the rope dart on it, which makes me very depressed. Oh well. So, these are the only people you actually have to deal with, and even then you can just run through it, so... Yeah, keeping your, uh... Keeping... What's it called? Your... Your, uh... I don't even remember your wanted level. I'm just gonna call it below two is pretty easy. Suspicion level? I don't even remember. But yeah, they just forgot about me. Which is cool. Because I was going to hide in here, just like when we were with Haytham at that fort. But yeah, anyway. Back to Sam. Connor, I'd like you to meet some like-minded friends. The owner of this fine establishment, William Molyneux, and the manager and chef of his newest venture, Stéphane Chaffaut. Ah, Connor and I just had a ball uh, with some red coats and forcing some tax men outside my home. The collectors grow bolder and more forceful. Something we must address, Samuel. Then let us raise a banner. Something to let the people know that they are not alone. The docks are an angry place of late. Protesters picketing the latest shipments of British tea. The eyes of the city are upon that stage. A Bostonian without his tea is a dangerous beast. William Johnson is smuggling the tea off the ships. One of his men tried to sell me this. A sample of what I refused. But it's from those ships. No mistaking the stamp. He's charging a king's ransom. Must be he's making a mint off those who buy it. Where is he now? I've never met the man. May I ask why you seek him, Connor? He intends to purchase the land upon which my village stands, without the consent of my people. No doubt the revenue from his little smuggling endeavor is financing the acquisition. A tax enforced on tea grants a boon to smugglers. I'll wager the same men who levy the taxes are selling the tea. A stage requires a spectacle, and I may know the play. Head back to the docks and see to the destruction of the tea. If you should need us, return here. Why are you waving at me like that, Sam? Did your animation come after your voice by accident? On, Whoops. Hello, Connor. That tea is being illegally smuggled all around Boston by Johnson's men. If you see any crates in transit, perhaps you could put a stop to the delivery. And those moody tax collectors are still at it. They could use a lessoner too, huh? So, uh, after I stopped getting lost in this bar, this tavern, I don't know what it is. Uh, so this mission is basically a mission in, uh, liberation missions? A mission, practicing a mission. But yeah. And I'll talk about that after this cutscene. Pardon me. Oh, come on, mate. That man came out of a wagon. Anyway, uh, liberation missions, there are 
three people in every, uh, in every, what's it called? I don't know, city, town, who will give you missions. And each of these missions, they will, there will be three missions, and there will always be some sort of, like, Templar plot. And it's usually just kill, like, three or four men. The ones with the targets over their heads. And once you complete all three of these missions, you go back to that person, and then they will, well, join the assassins. And each of them has a special power. But we'll get into that uh, in the next mission, after we go back to Stefan, or whatever his name is. It starts with, it's like Steph, Steven, or whatever, only French. So yeah, we'll deal with that when we deal with that. But for now, I'm just going to evade these guys and go on to the next liberation mission I have to do. Which conveniently is on our way to our actual mission. So right here, it would have helped if I had my uh, hidden blades out because then I could have killed two men at once, but unfortunately I didn't. Yeah, um, the other two liberation missions in this town I will be doing in the roundup video. But this one's required to actually move on with the story, so... Yeah. Now we just gotta make our way down to the docks to blow some stuff up. Oh, look, I've already done three out of three. Sweet. Works for me. Even though the next mission is right over... I, 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 I'm just gonna go with it, okay? I'm pretty sure I only killed two groups of people, but it said three out of three, so I don't know. I'm just going to shrug. You can't see it, but I'm shrugging. Okay, so it'd be probably a good idea to get rid of that wanted level. So it looks like there's a crier on the other side of this town. and uh, Not town, building. So the fastest way is a straight line right over it. And he is the opposite way. There we go. Hey, close heat. And unfortunately, you can't immediately steal your money back after you bribe them, but it's not as big as a... It's not a big sum of money, unlike uh, the Ezio games. And this is a restricted area, so they immediately see me. Let's see how stealthy I can be, shall we? Oh, apparently not at all. Well, I mean, I evaded them, but I could have just easily double-stabbed them. But for now, what we gotta do is we gotta bring those uh, red barrels over to each of the little blips on our map, being giant boxes of tea, and basically shoot them. And you can see one of the uh, restrictions is you can only sh yeah, shoot six bullets. So, uh, yeah, there's three to shoot. And there's six bullets. So basically, the easiest way to do this mission is to not shoot any bullets besides the ones you need to do um, the blowing up. So, yeah, that's exactly what I do. It's a pretty easy strategy. And I don't even know why they made a restriction besides you can't shoot people. Which, I mean, makes the mission stealthier, I guess, if you're into that. But yeah, it doesn't even have to be that close, as you can see. And I mean, you've got to use the the powder kegs to blow up the crates, so you got to shoot them. I think you might be able to light them if you're close enough. I'm not entirely sure, but shooting them's just easier. No, you don't. No, you don't. And they just forget about me, which makes this pretty easy. Stealth. God save me. They've all gone mad. Yeah, you can throw a roll, but throwing usually, uh, I mean, not roll, just drop, but throwing usually makes them bounce off of things and generally isn't the greatest idea when it's easier just to walk up to it. Well, now i got to reload, which is something I always forget because I'm so used to things automatically reloading in like three seconds after I shoot something, but... 
That man's fine. Don't worry. Oh, he actually is fine. That's good. One more thing, and, well, it probably would have been easier for me to get the one I just did last, but whatever. Looks like I'm going to have to do some swimming. I mean, how cold can it be, right? It's a bright, lit, sunshiny day. I mean, I got that cloak, too. I'll be fine. Actually, it would probably be faster if I went out on land. And oh my god, there are four dudes over there. And I mean, they're not particularly threatening, but they've already seen me. So let's stealth, obviously. It's the only way to do this. I'm just going to keep running around in a circle until they forget me. So one thing is, if you're up about two stories, you can automatically stab anyone by falling on them. Yeah, air assassinations kill anyone at two stories. So if you're in a fight, and you're gonna die, and all of them are really bad at shooting, you can just keep climbing up a building about to the second story window and falling down and stabbing two people at once, and just keep doing that. And it's actually an effective strategy, which is the funniest part. And you're dead. Down to the ground, yeah. That could have gone a lot better, but it looks like this barrel is right next to the T, so we should be fine. And I'm just going to actually set the gun as a hotkey instead of unarmed, because why the hell would you ever use unarmed except for jokes and just strangling random people in the uh, on the street? What the? What is this man hammering? Just some rope? I don't know. There we go. And now I just need to not shoot anyone on my way back. And we should be fine. Oh, and once you be, um, blow up all three things, there's no longer a uh, restricted area. So, I don't know. And this one was completely by accident. I didn't notice that almanac at all, and I just fell on it, which was pretty sweet. And right over here, I'm wanted, and I stab this man who I'm supposed to stab for the mission, but since he wasn't holding his box, I sort of broke it. And let me just speed up this fight. Yeah, just, yeah, every, everything dead. Let's go. There we go. Okay, so yeah. Blip's still there. Guy's dead. Box just despawned, so it's not even a case of me walking on the box. But anyway, let's do this mission correctly, and not with a wanted level. So I'm guessing you could probably just tackle this guy, but what's the fun in tackling people when you can just stab them? Not even stab them, just strangle them with a rope. Yep. So it actually worked, and that's the end of the mission. It's okay, we got one more mission to do after this before I can do my collection mission, and it's basically explaining what happens after you do all the liberation missions. Yeah, Stefan, I was right. Chapeau. Well, anyway, let's just quickly travel there, and there we go. Stefan, what is wrong? Where is Sam Adams? Who cares? I've been robbed! Where are you going? To get back what's rightfully mine. So, basically for this mission, you follow him, he attracts guards, you stab the guards from behind, and then you complete the mission. And it's pretty easy. Especially if you do it very quickly. Unfortunately, neither of those were uh, low-profile kills, but...
Hey, they just push people over for no reason. And yeah, I was gonna use the trip mine on these guys, but there's too many civilians there, and I'd probably... Yeah, there's more than two. So I'd probably end up failing the mission. Yeah, what he said. But for now... Stefan, please! Stop and listen to me! I've listened for long enough! They come my own... The man responsible for this will pay! His friends will pay! For a long time that I've suffered these affronts, they will cost me my courroux! Yes. So those were like the first two low pro profile things I did. And this is like halfway through the mission too. It gets easier when there's more dudes because that actually allows Stefan to uh, get their attention. And then after that all you have to do is get behind them, really. Just wait. But we got... I need one more guard to stab in low profile, and that should be coming up now. There we go. Easy enough. Bam. Okay. And it's easy enough to do the rest of it, so... I should probably be using guns or at least arrows, there but way to fight injustice, but this is not it. I don't know what you're talking about. This is usually how you do it. I mean your name is Assassin. This is literally what you do. Just randomly kill people. Well, I mean that's at least what I do and like seventy to eighty percent of players do. Not even like ninety five. Yeah. Ninety five seems like a good number. Yeah, we're coming up to the end of this mission, so right now I just need to get rid of people. I don't know how I stabbed both those men in that position, because my hand obviously went over the other man's head. Destroyed? You stupid mongrel! I suppose you want me to tell Johnson his tea just spontaneously combusted? Nonsense. Someone's responsible. And you will find out who. And if you can't, I'll gut you and find a smarter mongrel who can. What do we do? Create a window. Okay, so yes, this is what is this is what happens when you get a liberation mission complete. You get a new power, and um, well, Stefan's power just so happens to be assassinate. So we'll just do that. More will come later. Bloody hell are you? Why? You have no right to rob people blind. By decree of the British Parliament or not. British Parliament? I worked for William Johnson. Johnson? And he's suffering cleanly. Please. What are the things you lost? The people listen to me only because I spoke the truth loud enough. Which is worth 1,000 times the content of my footlocker. The English, they can keep my things. You did well tonight. I said I'd buy you an ale when you first helped me. In place of drink, I offer you my allegiance. For what it's worth. Your aid is welcome, and I am grateful. Now, I need to find Sam Adams. Mission complete. 
And now I can do some roundup videos. Great! Exactly what I wanted to do with my Christmas break. Which is when this is being recorded. Awesome. I love making videos for the internet. I only make money off them once a year. So, with that, I will see you next time.